Welcome to Praying Through the Bible, number 44. Numbers 11, a prayer that is just like before. Why should we expect God to treat us any better, any differently, if we treat God the same shabby way? That question should shock us or shame us into reevaluating deeply. Since beginning with me, this journey of praying through the Bible, has the level of our prayer life been raised, become more focused, less selfish, with less complaints, and more praise? Are we content? Are we changing? Here is another searing question. Why should we expect our life to be any better, any different, when we keep making the same bad choices? Repeating their mistakes like before, the people began complaining openly before the Lord about hardship, Numbers 11, verse 1. Maybe I should admire their openness, considering how many complain privately about God. Their complaining before God might not be praying as many are not when saying, God, I hate my life. People often speak God's name in vain without praying. People convince themselves, apparently, it's less blasphemous to complain about God than to complain to God about God. Consider this possibility also, that complaining about God is taking his name in vain. Reading Numbers 11 is like reading Exodus 16, praying through the Bible number 30. It's like a very bad sequel, when the original wasn't very good. It's like serving leftover burnt salmon patties because no one ate them the first time. I'll let you decide if that's a real story. When liberal-minded scholars see similar biblical stories, like this one and back in Exodus 16, they see the same original narrative written by different authors and then divided by a confused editor. I see something far more simpler and much more sinister, self and sin, me. If we don't change, our story stays the same. Since this is about repetition, let me repeat that. If we don't change, our story stays the same. Just as before, God is listening even when we are not talking directly to him. When the Lord heard, fire from the Lord blazed among them. Numbers 11, verse 1. Here is where Israel's memories become as mushy as wet manna. Who will feed us meat? We remember the free fish we ate in Egypt, but now our appetite is gone. There's nothing to look at but this manna. Numbers 11, verses 4 through 5. Free food? Apparently, and how could they forget it was paid for by blood, sweat, tears, and slavery? After eating the same manna for over a year, Numbers chapter 10, verse 11, they complain that God answered their prayers both about food and slavery. As someone who uh, doesn't really like leftovers, I'm appreciating them more as a mature. <laughs> I understand. But what was their alternative? Let's list their alternatives because making lists when complaining is helpful for us to see reality. One, starve in the desert. Two, return to slavery. Three, Eat the manna and complain. Four, eat the manna and be thankful. Sometimes when complaining, we need to honestly assess our choices, not just our attitudes, but our choices. As before, God provides meat in the desert. This time, God's whim blew the quail three feet off the ground for about a day's journey in every direction. Numbers 11 verses 31 through 32 says that and says also that the people were up all that day and night and all the next day gathering quail. One who took the least gathered 50 bushels. 
This story ends much like it begins. While the meat was still between their teeth, before it was chewed, the Lord's anger burned against the people, and the Lord struck them with a very severe plague. Numbers 11.33. We need to remember both God's grace and anger. You see, God did not treat them any better because the people kept making the same bad decisions by treating God in the same shabby way. What is our prayer challenge? Look again at the two opening questions. Then look honestly at ourselves individually and collectively and at our prayers. If we were God, would we want to hear us pray with the same bad attitude, the same complaints just as before? Start praying differently. This has been praying through the Bible, number 44, numbers 11, a prayer that is just like before. This has been a blessing. Please help me grow the channel. Subscribe. Click the, the bell. Make comments. But more than anything, pray for me as I try to pray through the Bible. Thank you.